went to a presentation a couple of weeks ago, and as usual, the presenter handed out her notes to us, you know, three, um, her PowerPoint slides really three up on a page with the notes next to it, and, and she started off, and she was doing a good job, and I was following along with her notes, and as I followed along, I noticed that she really didn't add a lot to the presentation that wasn't already in her notes, you know, they were bullet pointed, and, and so I, I started to read ahead in the notes, and, you know, I beat her to the end and to her conclusion, and so I decided to check my emails on my phone and see if I had any texts and lost interest and kind of things just faded away. And we find that happens a lot. I bet you've, uh, you've seen that happen to you when you're in a presentation. If, if you read ahead in the notes, you're just not as interested in what the speaker has to say. And, and, and so many speakers really have the whole presentation is one way, right, from the speaker to you. Uh, it's all information coming one way. You're never asked anything. You're never participating. And so what we want to talk about today is how can we be more interactive? How can we get more participation during our presentation so that our audience is more involved? So we're going to talk about four different ways to do that. And the first one is just merely to ask questions. Um, there's things that you don't know that perhaps the audience knows or that they know better than you. So take advantage of the fact that they know something and ask them questions. Let them be the experts instead of you having to be the experts all the time. And when you ask them questions, why, they might have to answer them. And just the very fact of answering questions causes them to perk up, pay more attention to what's going on. The second way that you can be more interactive is to take surveys. Now, these don't have to be written surveys. Of course, they can. But a survey can be just something as... Uh, as simple as, how many of you do this? Um, how often do you find that you have to X, Y, Z? And, and ask the group, pull the group, go around and ask them how many or if they've done it, or do a show of hands. And that is interactivity that means that their information is important to you. And of course, take that information then and use that further along in your presentation. The third thing that we can do to be more interactive is to use a follow-along document instead of that tired old three-up uh, note-taking process or, or copy of your, of your PowerPoint. Nobody wants to read those things, and, and if they can, you're not adding to anything in your presentation. So here's an example of a, of a uh, follow-along document that we might use. It will have our graphics in it so that they can take a look at, uh, keep those with them, uh, anything that's graphically important, a, 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 uh, a graph or a chart of some kind, but it also has places for them to write. So if I may have four things that I want you to remember about, um, uh, about being more interactive, I'll leave four spaces. And you have to write in the four things. Uh, and by the very physical act of writing those in, you remember them better, but you're also participating. And then the fourth idea that we have is that you can break people or great, break your audience into small groups. Have some small group work for them to do. Perhaps a, uh, uh, you want them to answer some questions or you want them to come up with suggestions on how they might uh, do something better or, or how would we use this particular new idea that you have. Let them come up with some ideas and then go around to each group, find out what they, they talked about and put those up on the board. And you would just be amazed at how much energy you can feel in a room when they break into small groups and you're not talking at all. Let them do some of the work and it takes a lot of pressure off of you and they enjoy themselves better. So our four uh, methods are to ask more questions, to uh, take a survey, to use a better follow-along form instead of uh, PowerPoint notes, and to break them into small groups. And remember, the only way to get better at giving presentations is to give more presentations.